Motion of a proton in a uniform electric field. A proton is released from rest at point A in a uniform electric field that has a magnitude of E. The proton undergoes a displacement of magnitude D to point B in the direction of the electric field. Find the speed of the proton after completing the displacement. So we can see that we have a proton that is released at point A. Initial uh, speed is zero. It basically moves in a uniform electric field towards the plate which is negatively charged uh, at point B that is uh, a distance D from point A. We want to know what is its final uh, speed. Okay, so if I look at the potential difference between A and B, the, pot the change in the potential going from point A to point B is VB minus VA or VBA, potential of B with respect to A. This is also what we call VBA. This is minus the integral from point A to point B, electric field dot product with displacement ds so it's the path integral now since the electric field is uniform it doesn't depend on where we are on this path it comes out of the integral minus e dot integral a to b ds and now you can see that my displacement ds is in the direction of the electric field so the dot product is e ds and therefore i'm just integrating the uh, distance, the path uh, difference between A and B, that is basically equal to minus E times D, the uh, distance from point A to point B. So you can see that VB minus VA is negative, therefore potential at B is lower. So point B is at a lower potential. That is the conclusion. Now, what is the change in potential energy? The change in potential energy is the charge multiplied by the change in potential. So that's going to be equal to minus E, E, D. So this is basically the um, charge of a proton, which is plus E multiplied by the potential difference, potential of B with respect to A. So what does that tell me? The potential energy decreases as I go from point A to point B. The potential energy decreases. Now what can I say about the mechanical energy of the proton? The change in the mechanical energy of the proton will be equal to the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy. And this must be equal to zero. Why? Because this is an isolated system in terms of energy and there are no non-conservative forces. I don't have friction in this case, so there are no non-conservative forces. Therefore, the change in kinetic energy of the proton must be equal to minus the change in potential energy. The change in kinetic energy is non-relativistically 1 half m v final square minus 1 half m v initial square. And since I release it from rest, the initial kinetic energy must be equal to 0. So this is equal to minus the change in potential energy, which is uh, the proton charge E electric field magnitude E times D. So we find the final speed when we isolate it. Uh, it's going to be equal to 2 E electric field magnitude E D divided by M square root. Okay, so let's put our answer in a box. 
Now you can see that the answer is in terms of the given electric field magnitude, distance between the points, the mass of a proton, the charge of a proton. Okay, so what have we done here? We have looked at the motion of a proton in a uniform electric field going from point A initially at rest to point B. We want to know the final speed at B provided that the proton moves in the direction of the electric field. Now in terms of forces, you can see that it's approaching a negatively charged plate and therefore it's attracted and it's repelled by this positively charged plate. So it's a positive charge. The charge of a proton is plus E. Uh, the electron charge with a positive sign. The potential difference going from point A to point B is minus the integral from point A to point B e dot ds, the path integral, that's because electric field is minus gradient of the potential. And this gives us minus electric field magnitude e times d, the distance between the uh, two points. That's because the electric field is uniform and the dot product E and DS are in the same direction is EDS. So uh, the constant electric field comes out of the integral and we obtain minus ED. And so therefore B is at a lower potential, which is closer to a negatively charged plate. The change in potential energy is charge times change in potential, which is E times potential of B with respect to A, that's minus EED. The potential energy is definitely decreasing and therefore the kinetic energy is increasing because the mechanical energy change should be zero. Why? Because I don't have any external force being applied here and there are no non-conservative forces in the system. Delta K is one half mv final square minus one half mv initial square, assuming that we have the non-relativistic uh, case here. So that basically cancels our one half mv initial square because it's zero initially released from rest. So with the final speed, we find as 2 EED over m square root.